Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. We're up to 306 subscribers and 8,400 views. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, really helping this channel grow. I promise that I'm going to do more segments. Um, I'm going to try to do it more often, but I'm only one individual I'm trying to work hard for all of you guys out there. Um, and I'm just... Uh, uh, I'm at a loss for words. I'm really happy. So without further ado, today we are going to continue where we left off with this mess of a guided tour that I made. And what I'm going to do is fix a couple of these things and I'm going to show you how um, to avoid some mistakes when creating these. So uh, if you recall from the last video, we started with step one, which was basically this step where um, I think I showed you that by pulling this uh, step right over here, excuse me, this call out, and let me close this. If I pull the call out over here and I highlight this, I mean this, this toolbar right here, it's fundamentally different than getting it in this hamburger right here. And you know, you can barely see it, but it has that little blue box right there that forms. So I just wanted to show you that it is totally different um, in that, and you can see the one is kind of wedged up there. So if you make that mistake, um, you know, that's something you should look at right there. So let's take a look at number one. And if we look here at the action, it's saying right click, but what did I put in the editing? Nothing. So this is another lesson learned, right? So if you're going to create a guided tour for people, you probably want to put in here, um, please right click, right click on the toolbar. Um, or if you're on a Mac, if on a Mac, because we do have Mac users like myself, uh, if on a Mac, two-finger click, right? I think that's what they call it. Or at least that's what I call it. But, you know, you'd come up with your own verbiage. So uh, we could click Save there. So that, that would help out um, with that step. Or if we wanted to delete it, what we could do is just click on that minus sign right there. And then you see this one becomes number one. So we just got rid of that step altogether. Um, now we have uh, this one, yes is the hamburger, again not very informative, the user is probably going to click on it um, and then nothing will, will happen for that, or excuse me, they'll move on to the next one, but let's just take a look at what the trigger is. So next step, click on the element, um, we could also do the right click or the next button, but again you're going to have to tell them um, in, this, in this box right here. And also another thing to note is that some of these are going to be grayed out. And I think I covered that in the last video, but I want to show you what will happen. So, so let's take number one right here. Um, and what I'll do is, this is how you get to guided tours, just a refresher. So I typed in ED um, space uh, T-O-U-R. And <clears throat> this is the screen that will come up uh, when you click on guided tours here. Now, um, when I click on SLA information, so if I click on SLA information, it will come into this tab. Now, one thing I wanted to note was that, and I covered a little bit of this last time, but let's take a look here at the name. So we have all these steps here. Now, if you if you look at the numbers, it just kind of kicks out a new number, and it doesn't really matter to um, in terms of like how the uh, the order is because the order is right over here. So that's one thing you need to note <clears throat> is that. The name here, step 13, is really order zero, so meaning it's the first one that's going to come out of the box. So, um, and another thing I wanted to note is that let's say <clears throat> we clicked on step 11. Step 11 here, um, our placement, you'll see it leaves it open, right? So if we go to the actual um, let's just look at another one here, the first one. So let's take a look at number one and see what it offers us. So if we click on the callout placement, we have a we only have below or to the right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it above from that other screen, and we're really going to create something messy here. So let's take a look here. Um, I'm going to open this up. And now I'm going to change this to top. And that's another thing I noticed too, is that with the placement, um, this has top listed here, 
But when we go into this, we'll see here it actually says above. So that's another um, thing that we have to take note of. So um, let's see here. Is this the one? Step two, SLA information. No, we went to step 13. So I'm going to save this right now. We'll make that change. And now I'll refresh the screen. And we'll see what happens to the step over here, if there's any change. Yeah, and you'll see right here, it kind of comes up with these, um, looks like that, uh, some sort of code like HTML or something like that. And basically, to me, it, it just can't, yeah, see, you're going to get this unable to display this, this step call out on the, on the frame. So, and if we try to play it, let's take a look here. Let's see what happens to it, to it when we play it. And uh, my apologies, the connection is a little bit slow here. All right, so remember, this is an autoplay. Um, and I covered that in the last segment, how to set that up. So... Um, that would be under, um, if we went to uh, auto launch, excuse me, what it's called. All right, so we're here, and I'm not even sure if this thing is going to run. So it looks like it's not even running. So uh, that's one thing to note also. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fix this thing. by I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get rid of it altogether because... If I change it, oh, let me try changing it back to bottom. Let's see what happens. Because last time I tried changing it to bottom, it did not work. So, and, and it's good that we're going through this now because if you're uh, if you're out there in the world and you're setting these things up, you definitely want to have this insight going into it. All right, so let's see here. And I'm just going to refresh the screen again, and we'll see if these little Chevron things will go away. Yeah, so it looks like yeah, it looks like it's there. Um, let me try clicking on it. All right, so it looks like I have to take this out manually, I guess. So let's try. And we'll click save. And now what I'm gonna do is play it again, and we'll see if it runs this time. And uh, this might actually be a good opportunity to check the auto launch settings. Make sure that it's on. Ah, there we go. So now it, it appears to be working. So, so those are a, a couple of things that we, you know, we note when we're making these things. And uh, right now, what I'd like to do is just um, thank Valiant Solutions, which is now a sponsor, uh, a paid sponsor of this channel. Um, just want to say thank you to the CEO, Matt Rado. Uh, I've known Matt uh, since high school, actually, and it was kind of a funny way um, that we got back into contact with each other um, back in 2007. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to thank them. So they're located in Washington, D.C. Um, I also noted on LinkedIn that they are looking for some positions right now. They're not ServiceNow related, although they are in the cloud space. Um, so, um, yeah, feel free to check them out. They're a real great company. So now going back here, let's take a look at um, our steps here. So now we have this one, and we'd have to clean it up. Same thing. Click Save. And another thing that we note um, when we're, we're running this thing or playing it is that, and let's just play it one more time. It's taking a second here to load. Okay, so yes, yeah, so this is the hamburger. Remember, you tell them to click it. So now we have one for the name, telling them to name it, great. And we don't really know. I guess we click in here. And now we have this third step. So let's see what that third step was, right? So be careful. So let's see what this is, editing. Default. So this, this should be for the condition type. So if we wanted to, we could move it to the right. But see, it's going to go all the way over here. So that's another consideration that we would have to take. So we'd probably just do it below. So that's one thing with these arrows here. It's not going to go directly underneath. It's going to be kind of over to the side here. So that's one thing that your, your users would want to take note of. 
Um, and then, let's see here, so I'm going to click Next. And you see the spacing here? It's, it's kind of far away. So um, we could go to number four, and if we wanted to, we would change it to maybe below. Maybe that would be a little bit better. So I think that sets us up to, um, to fix these a little bit more. And so I'm going to stop right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do probably another three or four. And we're going to clean this thing up in, in a couple of different video segments. So I'm Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we just unlocked the power of ServiceNow. Thanks and have a great day.